you people here tonight. Got some housekeeping stuff to go over, but luck would have it before we get to that. Got a joke for you. Guy's uh, driving down to Texas Road, shotgun with him. Sees a duck flying overhead, shoots the duck, duck falls down dead. Guy goes into the yard or into the into a yard to get the duck and farmer happens to be there and he says, I saw you shot, shot the duck. Um, you know, the duck fell in my yard, so by law it's my duck. The guy says, Look, um, I shot the duck. I happen to be a lawyer, and you know, if you don't let me take the duck, I'm going to sue you and take everything you own. <laughs> Farmer scratches and says, "Tell you what, why don't we settle this by the Texas three kick rule?" Not familiar with the Texas three kick rule. Tell me about it. Well, it's very simple. I'll kick you three times, and then you can kick me three times, and back and forth until one of us gives up. Guy that shot the duck says, that sounds fine. So, uh, the farmer kicks him in the shin. Guy doubles over, kicks him in the chest. Then the guy falls to the ground, and the farmer kicks him in the head. And the guy, you know, is dazed. He says, okay, you old coot, now I'm going to let you have it. And the farmer says, that's okay, you can keep the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about defense. Defense is, for some people, the hardest part of the game. Okay? Because as declarer, I can see all of our assets. I can see what's in my hand. I can see what's in the dummy. And if the opponents have been bidding, I can pretty much figure out what the opponents have and the shapes of their hands and such. But on defense, it's a lot tougher, especially if my partner's been silent. So you and your partner should have some way to communicate on defense that does not include winking, nodding, <laughs> stomping, <laughs> fingering, thumping, diamonding, and such. Yes, bridge is very tough in the Kinlaw household. Put up with stuff. <laughs> All right, there are three basic types of signals. Okay. You got your attitude signal, which is how do you feel about what I'm doing? Okay, how do you feel about this suit? You got your count signals. I have this many cards in this suit. And this is a really, really important signal. Because how many cards are in each suit? 13. 13. So if you're my partner and I tell you how many I have, and you can look down and see how many you have, and you can look at dummy and try to remember how many they started with, then you can figure out how many Declare has. And it makes it a lot easier to defend a bridge hand. Okay, and the third type of signal is called a suit attitude or a suit preference signal. Anyone here from England? Oh yes, we do have we do have some from England. Um, one of my favorite authors um, is English, and whose name just went out. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Phillips. Grammars. <laughs> anyway, um, he has a saying on attitude signals: low means no, and high means. I'm thinking another way of saying yes. Okay, low means no, high means I. High means yes. High means yes. Low means no. Okay. Which means I've got this holding. Okay. 
and my partner bank, we are defending against a four spade contract. And my partner bangs down the ace of hearts. Is this good? Why would he do this in all likelihood? He has the king too. Because he has the king. So if he has the ace and the king and can put another one on the table, then I can take a, I can trump a heart. So do I want him to continue hearts? I do. Okay, so when he bangs down the ace, I'm going to play a high card. Now, before I get into this much deeper, are either of these cards ever going to win a trick? It does not matter as far as winning a trick, whether I play the eight or the four. Okay, if I play the four, the eight will not win the second trick. Signaling is playing a card that will not win a trick in an effort to tell your partner something he needs to know. So when my partner bangs down the ace, I play the eight. Okay? And then when he plays another one, I play the four. He, when he plays the king, I'll play the four. And then he will lead another one, and I will trumpet, and life will be granted. Okay. Does that make some sense? Any questions? I'm going to make a change. You know, because I can. Yep. When I say I'm going to make a change, I mean I'm going to write something different. All right, partner bangs down the ace. Is life good? Life is good. Okay, what do I anticipate he's doing? He's either leading the ace because he has a doubleton, in which case life is not good. Okay. Or he's leading the ace because he has the ace, the king, and another one. So do I want him to continue this suit? I do. So what should I play? I should play the eight. Same thing. I play the eight and then the four, and my partner's going to bang down a third one. He doesn't know whether I have the queen or whether I'm going to trump it. Okay, he will figure it out when on this suit I play the queen. Does that make some sense? Any questions? What if there's only two hearts and dummy? If there's only two hearts in dummy, I will still tend to tell him how many I have. Because if you tell your partner how many you have, he can figure out how many Declare has. Um, so now I have partner bangs down the ace. And I've got this. Okay. Do I want him to continue this suit? You know, I really don't care if he continues this suit, but I don't want to really encourage him. Okay, I'm going to play the two, which will tell him that I don't have a doubleton and I don't have the queen. Okay, which is going to be good information for him. If he's looking at the ace, the king, and the jack, he will play another suit. And in the fullness of time, I'll get in and play a heart through, and he may may take his king and his jack. Okay. Doesn't mean he isn't going to continue the suit. He may have nothing better to do. Okay. But I'm going to tell him, I don't have a doubleton, and I don't have the queen, Okay, which is what a low card would indicate. Does that make some sense? Any questions?
opens, two no trump, next person passes, north bids. What does north bid with this hand? Well, this hand that now has 13 cards. <laughs> South opens, two no, north bids. How many points does South have? South, South is this guy. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Partner. Partner of this person opens two no trump. What does this person bid? Three no. Okay. We have enough points for game. We don't have an eight card bait suit fit. Let's try to take eight tricks and no trump. Right. My partner leads a club, which goes to the jack and ace, and then declare plays a small diamond, and my partner plays small. And this person plays the king. What's going on? Do we know where the ace is? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be with south. Could my partner have the ace? My partner could have the ace. Wouldn't that be great if my partner had the ace? Because if my partner had the ace, then we can present prevent this guy from taking five diamond tricks. All right? Now, if my partner has the ace, is there important information I need to tell him? If only there were a way I could tell my partner I had two diamonds. Because if I could tell my partner I had two diamonds, then my partner would look at the five on the board and the however many he has in his hand and be able to figure out how many declare has. Right? If only there were a way. If there were a way I could tell him I only had two, wouldn't that be cool? Okay, I can play the, and by the way, th signaling on occasion, you may get in the habit of just following suit and not try, not realizing when your partner needs to know information. If your partner has the ace of diamonds, he desperately needs to know how many diamonds you have. Because if you tell him how many you have, he will hold up his ace until Declare has played his last diamond. And when that happens, Dummy can fold up his cards. He won't have a way to take his good diamond. So on, when dummy plays the king, I will play the nine, which says I either have one, which is the nine, or I've got two. Okay. Does that make some sense? And so if the holding is this, okay, small, small to the king, and I play the nine, queen, and I've finished with my doubleton, show high, low, small, duck again. Okay, and then when he plays the jack, I pitch off a card. This person follows with his last diamond, and partner takes his ace, and now dummy's dead. Yes, sir? What if you have the eight and the two? If I have the eight and the two, I play the eight and then the two. If I've got the three and the two, I play the three and then the two. And I, I, I count on my partner to pay attention. I count so on my partner to pay attention. <laughs> so the nine is not odd or even. The nine is. The, the nine is not odd. The nine, the nine is not odd. Well, it's an odd card, but it's not part of odd even signal. Okay, it's a unnecessarily high card to show an even number, which in this case is two cards in that suit. So conversely, I have the nine, the six, and the two. Okay, small, small. This person plays the king. Which diamond do I play? Two. I play the two, because I have three of them. I want to show an odd number. Low, unnecessarily high, is an even number. And low is an odd number. 
Okay, which in this case would be three. Does this make some sense? Is this good information to have? This is great information to have. Has anybody ever fouled this up? I know what this is. I know what I'm doing. I'm following suit and I'm, I'm playing with a partner that's paying attention and I forgot. And my partner thinks I know what I'm doing because I usually do and I I play the two and then the six and my partner gets ready for me to follow suit again and I don't. And my partner is, what's the word I'm looking for? Upset. Upset, not happy, <laughs> discouraged, dismayed. Okay. This concept makes sense? So on this one, I played the two. My partner knows I've got three, so he can take comfortably the second diamond trick. Okay, he doesn't have to hold up to the third diamond trick to figure out how many the player has, because I told him. Okay, so on this, dummy's going to take one diamond trick. Does that make some sense? Any questions? Now I am going to you teach. Told him you had, you told him you had an odd number, but you didn't tell him whether you had one or three. Uh, if I've got, if I only have one, there's nothing he can do. If I only have one on this holding, then Declare is going to have four. <coughs> He'll figure it out when Decla when Dummy plays the second one, and I don't follow suit. So I've got this. <laughs> so which diamond do I play? I play that one. Okay? And then when he plays the queen, I don't follow suit. And he figures out, oh, rats. I was hoping for the other odd number he would have. Because if, if I have three, then declare only as two. Okay? You do the best you can when you're signaling. Comments, questions. How do they, when you say it's uh, two or three, how do you know it's not five or four? It could be, but then this person wouldn't have opened no trump. Because five here, three here, this person isn't going to open no trump with a void or a singleton in diamonds. So it's usually going to be a two or three. Okay, if it's four or five, then it's four or five. But usually the difference is going to be either have a two card suit or a three card suit. Could have a four card suit. Questions, comments? I have a story for you. Way back when, I was playing bridge against somebody I, who I will fondly refer to as bitter old lady. <laughs> Okay. And this is 20 some odd years ago, way before the days of Friendly Bridge. And my, uh, I was playing with a fellow about my age and we do like not much. And we came to this lady's table and we we're playing defense and the woman asked, do y'all play standard carding? <laughs> That's what we do. Well, sure. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> and it turns out we had no clue what standard carding was. <laughs> and the woman, bitter old lady who I'll finally refer to as, when, we, when she figured out that she relied on us to know what we were doing, and we didn't. And I got to tell you, I got to believe we had a look that oh, we have no clue what we're doing here. But she said, she called the director, <laughs> director, they said they were playing standard carding, they aren't playing standard carding. Of course, yeah, it's one of our first signs of the bridge center, it's like, oops. <laughs> and and, and the, the director looked down on us and said, or actually looked at the old lady and said, yeah. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> or worse to that effect. But 
Let me tell you what standard cardi means. Standard cardi means it's, a, it's like an attitude signal. If I play a high one, do I like that suit? Yes. If I play a low one, do I like that suit? No. no. So if I have this holding on defense, and I haven't overcalled this suit, Okay, I've got this holding on defense. My partner, they're in four spades, and my partner plays um, a trump. If only there were a way I could tell my partner that I like diamonds. Well, there's a couple ways I could tell my partner I like diamonds. One would be if Declare starts pulling Trump on the second Trump, playing the King of Diamonds. Is that a signal of some sort? Is that a signal that y'all would get? Hey, my partner played the King of Diamonds. He must like diamonds. Now, the other way I can tell my partner I like diamonds is if he's playing Trump, is play the Two of Hearts and the Two of Clubs. If I don't like clubs, I don't like hearts, what do I like? diamonds and I'm playing unnecessarily low diamonds or low cards in the suit to say I like it. Now if I've got this holding instead of doing that I could play the six of diamonds and then the four of diamonds. I high load in diamonds which means I like diamonds. So high low means I like it, low unnecessarily low means I don't like it. Yes, sir. Why would six four not mean you had a double? Um, because uh, if I'm out of trump, I don't need to tell my partner I've got a double thing. Okay. Good question. All right, one more hand for you. But Ed, why, if you play high low, play six four. Well, the six means you have even, then you don't have even. You have five. Well, I'm gonna tell my partner what I think he wants to know. And here, I think you want to know that I've got diamonds, as opposed to how many diamonds I have. Okay, good question. Tell your partner what you think he needs to know. Now, I've got this holding. So, the auction has gone, one diamond by this guy, pass one spade by Sal, pass four spades, pass, pass, pass. Partner cast off with the three of diamonds. partner doing? He led diamonds. He doesn't have the ace, he doesn't have the king, doesn't have the queen, doesn't have the jack, doesn't have the ten, and they bid diamonds. What is my partner doing? He's leading a singleton. So what should I do? I should, I should play the ace and then lead one back. And then my partner puts a club on the table and I take the ace and I lead another one back. And life is good. We take the first four tricks. Champagne flows from the heavens. Wouldn't that be great? Except, go! My partner doesn't return a club. He returned a heart. And declares smiles. And takes the rest of the tricks. If only there were a way to tell my partner to return a club. Wouldn't that be cool? There is. It's called a suit preference signal. Okay? 
Does it matter as far as leading a trick whether I lead the nine, the four, the two back? No. No. So I should lead something that gives information to my partner. Okay, it's called a suit preference signal. Because it doesn't matter whether I lead the nine, the four, or the two. So it must have a meaning if it has a meaning. And you might as well assign one to it. Okay, if I return an unnecessarily low card, it means I want you to return the lower ranking suit. If I return a high card, means return the higher ranking suit. So I take the ace of diamonds and I return the two of diamonds. My partner trumps it and thinks the two. That looks like a low card. Puts a club on the table, I take my ace, fire another one back, first four tricks, champagne flows from the heavens. Okay, wow, wow, yeah, Velvet Road's part, all good things happen. So change it to this. Take the ace of diamonds, and then I return the nine. Nine. nine of diamonds, which seems like an unnecessarily high card. It says partner returned the higher of the other suit. So my partner returns the returns a heart. I take the ace, fire another diamond back. Life is good. Questions, comments? Yes, sir. Why didn't North explore for a slam? Uh, he did. He oh. just said he. Okay. okay diamond spade. Points. Diamond spade. Four spades. Says I got 19 or 20 points. Okay, 22. <laughs> I was only asking because he had 22 points. I have 22. His father supported you. Okay. Oh, it's 19. Okay, now, so now he's got 19. Now he's got 19. Diamond, spade, four spades. All right. If y'all are going to pay attention to what I write up here, it's going to take a lot longer, and I say that. If somebody's taking your classes, you expect them to pay attention. But it's, um, it is 6.30, so it is time for you nice people to play bridge.